Hey there, you looking for an easy way to edit your big commerce products in mass? In the last video I did, I went over how to do that with the CSV method, which involves exporting your products to CSV and then re-importing it. In this video, I'm going to go over how to use big commerce's bulk edit feature to do that without having to uh, import and export at all. Um, before we get started, my name is Cal, and I'm a developer, a store owner, and I run an e-commerce, or uh, yeah, I run an e-commerce community called e-commerce growth uh, for store owners just like you and me. And each week I post uh, e-commerce videos. So if you find this one useful, subscribe and hit the bell, and you can see even more as I put more out. All right, so what we're talking about today is the bulk edit feature, and let me share my screen, and I'll show you how this works. And also, by the way. Uh, you know, if I'm going to put a link in the description, so if you need the CSV method, look in the description and you can watch that video too. All right, so this is a big commerce sandbox that I, that I have, and if I go into view products, obviously I can click into any of these products and edit it one at a time, which that's not what we're trying to do in this video. Um, so let me show you how to do this. Number one is, well, one limitation is, you can only do this to maximum 100 products at a time. So kind of the trick here is to do a creative search in order to identify the products that you're looking to edit in a chunk of 100 or fewer. So in this store, I only have 46 products, so I could easily check the check box here and basically select them all. But let's say, for example, I wanted to just work on some in a specific category. One trick is you could go to products, product categories, and choose the category that you're trying to edit and then click over here in the ellipses and go to products and this just takes us to a filtered view of the products within that category however you want to get to the products that you want to edit long story short is this is how you do it you check the checkbox to select all of the ones in your current view uh, which again has a limitation of hundred and then you come up here and under choose action you choose bulk edit and then confirm. And that takes you to this spreadsheet looking screen that has some really cool features like you can do copy and paste with you know control C, control V type of stuff. You can do bulk, drag to bulk edit, which is huge. I'll show you that. Um, and then double click to change all of them at once. So here's what it looks like. Now you'll notice there's not the same number of categories there are on the spreadsheet. So if you're trying to you know, edit something that's here, like stock numbers, this is a really easy place to do it. If you're trying to do something like, you know, editing the custom fields, which I showed you on the prior video, those don't show up here, and so this method won't work for you at all. But it'll let you edit product name, brand, categories, SKU numbers, UPCs, your default price, your sales price. So if you want to put a bunch of things on sale, you can do that right here. Uh, whether or not you're tracking inventory, the stock level, whether it's visible or not, whether it's featured or not. So if you're using the featured product snippet on your homepage, this is the easiest way to feature a bunch of products at once. And then you can say whether or not it has free shipping on a product level. So let's say that we want to take these products, which are all in the apparel category, and we want to put them in a, an additional category. Like let's say we want to put them all in gear as well. So what you could do is take this top one, click edit and save it. So now this top one is in both gear and apparel. And then you can take, the, you can hover over this little dot right here in the corner and drag it down just like you would in Google Sheets. And you see it just copied that to all of the other items uh, that are here. So if I want to take it out of gear again, I could do that same thing, just drag it down. If I wanted to maybe take all these hats and make them, you know, sale price $15, could do that. Just like that. Or raise them back. Um, so this, this is a good way, if what you're trying to edit fits into one of these columns, to just edit like this without having to do an export or an import or any of that stuff. Um, featured, just hit the star, go like that. Boom, they're all featured now. Um, the thing that you need to remember is at the end, you just need to click save and then all of the changes you made are live. It's really that easy. I use this a lot for categories especially and for featuring. Um, I don't use the sale price feature as much, so that one probably would be a little bit less used. 
This is a really good um, way to find things where maybe you forgot to put a brand name in. And so you can come in here and say, oh, this is a Camper Light branded test shirt, All right? All right, so this is the bulk edit method. Hopefully you guys find that helpful. If you did, hit the like button and be sure to check out our free community of store owners, which is right up there, e joinecommercegrowth.com. If you're looking for a dev team, consider me. Uh, my business is epicdesignlabs.com. Maybe we're a good fit. Reach out and let's talk about it. And I'm always looking for new ways to help you out as an e-commerce store owner. So if you have something that you're struggling with, be sure to leave me a comment or if you just want to, you know, give me kudos or whatever you want to say, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. And, you know, thank you so much and we'll see you next time.